Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to May XDF 2024 World Records. It was a fantastic month. Let's go through some of the stats to begin with. So we had Source Dubai at 58 records, absolutely monstrous. Woe with 17, Straight with 15, Vert with 15, JH with 11, Bias with 8, Azju with 6, Amino with 5, Uchi with 5, Shira with 4, Jaska with 3, 2 with 3, 2 should have had 2, that would have been better. 5 with 2, Akamoli with 2, Banano with 2, Cool with 1, Infinity with 1 and Plaza with 1. Great records uh, and an incredible thing that 5e has done which is beaten every single currently released uh, relaxed running map. So for the thing that I was going to do ages ago and never got round to, player of the month is 522. Thank you very much. We also have some more stats. So we had 159 total maps this week, 130 unique maps, 159 total records, uh, 115 videos, 18 unique players, uh, where's the button gone, there it is, on relaxed running, Dizzy retook the top and just holding off Source, who's making a move up. Mac Mac losing two places, going down in second. Everybody else holding pretty steady. Uh, Straight gets up into the top 20. Riffo about to drop down out of it. And over on Hardcore, Riffo holds the top. Jaska's pulling up. Dizzy's going down. And Vert's going up. JH goes up four. And most people on. A hardcore parkour are on the on their same positions they were before. But yeah, there's there's the stats of the month as we get into it, and hopefully we get some great records. Well, I know we've got some great records for the next month because we're already most of the way through it as we record this. Yeah, here we go then. So it's two I. Uh, words useful anyway insert a word here that means what I'm about to say celebrate that's the fucker to celebrate 522's incredible achievement beating all of the records here is the final record to be beaten or oh, not records sorry uh, all the maps here is the final one to be beaten sorry for crap recording quality compared to usual I recorded this one I forgot to turn off uh, infinite decals It is a mad map. Should be on HP, but because of uh, because of bags, bags, map packs. I'm. It's very hot. There you go. Incredible. And here's just like a really good record. Really grainy, really good record. Jesus. The way YouTube works is terrible for this sort of stuff and I can't do anything about it. Yeah, pure bullshit wreck. The classic 5e run. Yeah, this one was actually... Was that...? No, it wasn't world record at the time, but... Yeah. We had some good uh, performance on the XDWC maps this month. So we're going to start off with watching a couple of XDWC maps because a few people did some records in those. So that's pretty sick. Jesus Christ, why is that so loud? I've just realised why that was so loud. Um, 
I was actually using VLC since the last time I streamed this. Normally I only use it for background music, so it's never on 100%. I was actually listening to music, it's incredible. I couldn't finish this map when I first played it. This map's insane. Also, that was where I used for quite a while the picture. Uh, you search for Xenotic backgrounds on Google, you'll get that XCWC image, which is pretty cool. Surely that was found during. This map I remember very well. This map is the change between me being a pew pew zoonotic player and a defragger. This is where I started properly defragging and playing a lot in 2020. Because uh, I had nothing better to do at the time. But this map, absolutely incredible. I loved this end as well. This map's so weird because I remember it. But I'd never finished it. I probably got to there and then the bit after it's really difficult. There's one map, one XWC 2018 map that I finished originally and now can't. And it's not because of physics changes. Because... Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, that's the short version. This map, absolutely nutty, this run. Uh... Although this isn't the run I was expecting to have. This is written down that Source set that record, but that's not Source. Here's the world record on that final map that uh, 5e set, so you saw before. Yeah, just triple rocket stack it. That's how you do it fast. And then this map, God. There'll be some of this happening soon. This is Quake World Race, Quake 1. I'm going to be getting into Quake 1 speedrunning at some point. Uh, or attempting to for the, like, the 50,000th time. But this time I've actually got the thing set up properly. So it's different. Because normally I'm like trying to learn Quake speedrunning and then going, oh it doesn't matter because I can only set up. Crap, Quake Spasm instances. Speaking of crap, Ravine Crap. Good map. That uh, bounce pad is so, like, quasi random because the higher you land, the lower you go, effectively. No, because Ingus is still shit. And Ingus was after the wipes. Because Ingus was really annoying because it's like a really easy map in Quake 3, even in VQ3. But it doesn't bounce you right in the Nautic. So it makes it just almost impossible to jump. Or you have to stop and like the faster you go the worse chance you've got. 
Oh, this map's going to be insane. This is such a, like, precise jumping setup. So smooth. This map breaks me. This is, as you were talking about, um, pick mipping. This is what pick mipping does to maps to me. Like, you just can't see some corners because the floor and the ceiling are the same colour. My eyes are completely broken, like we, we do know this already. My eyes are broken. I don't have dyslexia, there's just a missing connection, I'm like 90% sure. Because I have dyslexia of everything, the non-words. Stopping? Okay. So this map last month was getting pretty... pretty ridiculous. With different... Uh, different ways of using the weapons and now I think it's got it's got to be to a point where you've got to use all the weapons all the time because before we had people using certain weapons at certain times and ah oh, cl yeah climb world trying to see the sides of the boxes on them brown shit like mud textured tires the towers, not tyres. I need to do Clan World at some point. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do it in this heat, though. But I want to go for a bike ride, but it's too fucking hot. <laughs> I literally cannot. I need to take the dog for a walk, but I can't because he will burn his feet. So I just, he's like, can I go for a walk? I want to go. Like, I, I'm going to stream this because I can't go into like another hour at least. But it is ludicrously warm. And for anyone moaning, it is ridiculously humid as well. For anyone going, ah, oh, it's Britain. And I'm not used to this. I'm used to freezing I used to race bikes in short sleeves while it was snowing that's my temperature level that I'm fine with here's a hell of a laggy map make sure you turn water off if you play this map otherwise it will lag incredibly hard See, that is the perfect temperature for a bike ride. Four degrees. Oh, beautiful. This sort of map is the sort of map that reminds me of... Well, it invokes the same looks as surfing. In CS. Right, it's just like super fast, super smooth, you never slow down, you just go. Whereas something like this, where you're constantly jumping left and right and doing... Like, this doesn't feel like surf. Even though, in some ways, it's more like surfing, because you're spending a load of time in the air and then going up some triangles. Oh yeah, Zon Surf exists, but yeah, it's not great. It's alright in small doses. Like, as part of a map, it's very good. I need to grind this map. I, c I know I can get a good time on this map. 
but actually putting it together is a different story. Shame the uh, video quality is ass. I do apologise profusely about the incredibly crap video quality. Some peeps with toony wheel legs running upstairs that fast. What? You are going to need to draw this. What on earth was that start, Vert? The hell is that? Whoop. I I do bigger circle jumps playing duel. Oh, it's nothing! What? And that's a big... That's a big box as well. Like, that's not like... Oh, what's the maps? I mean, it's not like an ash map. But what's the... Uh, uh, the bumpy blue and flat blue and all flat colours and all of those. They have the smallest... I think specifically brown, maybe? One of them has an even smaller section. Oh, is this the bullshit one? So, you don't always get slick here. We've found. It's kind of random whether you get slick. We've found a... a, a that there is a setup to do it. But... Not... Um, you have to land right on the seam. But it's not practical it's not practical in a run no this the setup's definitely not a lie because I I could do it 90% of the time but you wouldn't you can't just like do it in a run it's it's specific it's just like at least it's not ra completely random technically yeah This is a really nice map for... Like, so this is the sort of map that I would use to explain to bee hoppers the difference between bee hop and defrag. The fact that this is very similar to a bee hop map. You know, you got platforms. Uh, your classic B-Hop map. But... You can see just how smooth Defrag is compared to the jittery mouse. <gasps> I want to like B-Hop, but I, my, my head hurts. I watch it and... My head hurts. That was nice. I'm slightly worried that KZ requires that same sort of stuff. Because KZ is definitely my type of game mode. Oh, nicely. D oh, beautifully done. Or if I remember right, the last time that same cut was used, but it was a pretty dump when landing. So just getting that little bit further to continue the momentum after the landing. Like I'm pretty sure the cut was used, but yeah, it was a crap, uh, crap continuation. Very smooth.
I vaguely recognise... Oh, yes, I know why I recognise this map. That's such a cool route. Super difficult. Thank you. Super difficult, uh, super difficult map, that. Like, this is, that's one of those maps where it looks easy, but he's probably been face planting a wall, trying to make a jump across. But also, everyone is doing that. No matter what speed you're running at, your spacing's gonna be kind of weird. Pretty much all of these are going to be outdated, yeah, I mean, these are records from uh, last month, uploaded on the 8th of May. So there's a chance that this is even a April record. Actually, I think we're past April records now, but yeah, they will almost certainly be fairly outdated by this point. Uh... This is an April record. Oh, oh hold on. Who was that on Blue Town? JH for the 24. When was that set? These are still April records. Okay, yeah. So, for those who don't know, uh, Moro, the guy who runs the servers and uploads these videos, check out the channel. Overloaded with work stuff at the minute, so the uploads are coming like once a week and sometimes are a little bit late. I don't think these are, yeah, because these will be the ones where I was making the video and Fivey was like, is Mara still uploading? And it was 12 minutes ago. <laughs> that Blue Town record still holds. I could have just clicked the button in the bottom. I do like, um, that still hasn't been updated to xdf.gg. I don't know why this version of Nuke looks so good in Xenotic and it looks crap in Quake 3 and like it looks in very opinion based but it looks worse than the CS version in when I've played this in Quake 3 it looks better than CS when I play it in this. And I prefer Old Nuke. I like the rock canyon texture to the industrial car park. Car parks are a bit boring. But plenty of car parks near me, not very rocks. I live in Clay County. Spacey on that map's so awkward. So Jage didn't get that uh, one of the down ramps because it would overspace you for the next. It's there's some awkward spacing of if you hit a down ramp you miss the next. Uh like you fall in a hole or just eat shit. But it's still a super fast map. Yeah, 
Yeah, if there's any... So, if, since there are actually a few people who can get world records here, especially HP records, if they've got, like, dog shit pre-runs or something that don't get captured on these videos, send... Either send me the demo or send me a video recording of the, uh... Of the run. This map is super tough. There's no checkpoints, and every corner, if you fall off, complete reset, kill, back to the start. Not even on non world record runs, like, if you fall off, it literally just resets you. Big skips on Cool Short or the map before? Last one, yeah. No one dares go for him. <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've seen a Quake 3 run on it. That's just like mad. I hate this map so much. I don't know why. I did a run, half assed it, and I still can't beat that record. Every time we play it, it's like why can I not beat this? This is like my first or second run on the map, just half assed. The dog is overheating, he's just got to take a nap in the bathroom. Lay down on cool tiles. It's hilarious, in the summer I'll literally never come in my room because it's too warm. What the fuck?! I would absolutely have been smashing the reset button if I'd have seen I was about to fall off there. That's Ballsy for that. That's really cool, that route. Ah, oh, good, good bit of wall strafing from the month's champion. Um... What? Ah. Video skipped. <laughs> oh, 28C, fuck that. This map's got some pretty ballsy space. That- What? That's mad spacing! Holy shit! That's like jumping onto the thing that I'm... Jump... Like, miles away from. Mad. It's like minus three jumps. What's it hanging out at the minute? Oh, I need to take... Yeah, it's 24 right now. Yeah, it's going to be up to 27. Oh, piss off, it's late night heat. On a Tuesday. Can't be doing that. I go cycling on Tuesday nights. And I hate it when it's late night heat. So it's... Like, normally you'd expect it to get the hottest part of the day. is like 1, 2 o'clock and then it comes down after that. Nah. It's getting hotter until 6. Although it does drop off pretty quick, but I'm going to be dying tomorrow. Because it's still 20 degrees at 10 o'clock, which is half an hour later than we've ever finished. And that was with punctures and stuff. So a normal night finishes like half 8, 2 hour ride. It's going to be chaos. The worst part is there's some nerds who turn up in full skin suits, long sleeve, arrow kit, I'm like, fuck, how do you do it? Whereas I'm going to be ter- oh shit, hmm. I can't take two water bottles, I just thought, because I've got my, on the fast bike that I want to take, I've got two, I've got water bottle full of tools. 
So I can only take one water bowl. So I was going to take a bottle full of juice for drinking and a bottle full of water for tipping on my head. <laughs> well, that was quick. Let's look at the start. Can we go back? We can. No. Go back. Seem pretty normal to me. Just like a good circle strafe slick. Is that not the normal way of doing slick starts? Probably something to do with high mouse sensitivity. Usually is. God, I love the forecast for today with the, the, the like extra bits. High UV. High pollution. Very high pollen. Like, great. And I live in the countryside. Oh, I love it when this happens. It just decides to kick you out of the... Uh... Kick you out of the... The thing. Set up. Words aren't going well for me today. That's such a nice landing on Rocket. Is there a... It looks like there's almost enough time to get a double stack down there. Is there enough? Or is it kind of you're going too fast? Or the wrong sort of thing to get a stack? Oh, that was so nice. And the finish line is that little orange square on the floor that was on the floor of that final platform. The finish is just purely that. This map's a weird one. It seems to work out for spacing no matter what. There's always something that just works. And then, which just makes pushing it even harder, I think. Because you don't get anything from figuring the spacing out, because it already exists. That was nice. Minus one jump. Fast is hard. Down ramp at the end of there is a troll. I'm absolutely positive of it. I've never seen anyone hit it on a good run. There you go. There's another another start. Who's question mark? Didn't see question mark on the list of record holders for the month. I'm not good at fake nicks. Ah, straight. Yeah, down as straight. 
it uses um, the list of people I've got. Just uses the last re the last name that you used before the records were changed, or if um, if you've got a uh, anti fake nick on your account. For certain people who might have a proponents to shit in it constantly. Not 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 mention any names though. <laughs> Just get your name locked. It's quite funny because it's almost always not what people call you. <laughs> When it gets, when names get locked, it's almost always not the primary name of whoever's name gets locked. That bit feels so good when you get it right. Because the bounce pad resets your speed and just being able to carry it on. Minus 0 0.22 is not a plus, sorry. Point plus 0 0.2 again. 2.8? Fucking hell. Where's the time save coming from? Okay, a little bit back there, 1.5. O five, 5 Coming back at the end. Kids go for negative splits. And a ridiculous finishing time. Oh, Jesus. This map is absolutely insane. Absolute nonsensical map of Packer just smashing some shit. I uh, I don't know how he made that uh, jump, and I was watching. No, I think they mean there's a. There was a ridiculous jump that was like a triple height. That teleporter always confuses me. Every time I come through, I'm facing the wrong way. Or my mouse is already slammed to one side of the table and it just completely fucks me up. Beautifully done.
I've run out of words for these runs now, to be fair. We're also on some maps I've got no idea about. Which is always uh, a problem. <laughs> Did anyone see the new uh, Quake done double quickest light? That was mad. The maddest part was when I realised that uh, there was... Oh, I'm about to piss someone off. One second, I have to Google the difference between New Zealand and Australia again. Because I can't remember the flag colours. One of them has a big star at the bottom. Australia, unless someone fucked up the uh, thing. Connor in Australia. And Chambers in Wales. Which for one has to be a really disastrous timing to be able to do those runs but the ping difference and especially for a game that will not have any uh, netcode-y stuff because at least defrag can steal the netcode from quake 3 which is meant for online play but quake 1 as a single player game has no netcode whatsoever like the netcode comes in Quake World, separate from base game, separate from the single player. That's got to have been absolutely mad. Okay, it had netcode, but it didn't have... It had netcode, but not lag compensation, is what I mean. Nobody expected an Aust Australian and a Welshman to be playing this game together. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant by netcode. I didn't mean... Yeah. That's that's the difference in years. Because nowadays when people say netcode, they mean the game has how good the like lag prediction and lag compensation code is for netcode because everything has some sort of netcode netcode becomes online play yeah good old torture map This is an insane one. This isn't even the insane part. It's like a minute in, I think it was. And I assume since this is a world record, there's a there's a cut about a minute in. After you've done all of this. Which I assume Jasker's gonna have to do because uh, Amino did it last time. Yeah, that, this is it. So about... I don't know what time it will be when he actually gets there, but it's on this, like, super thin, tight ropey shit. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of a different map that's similar, unless it goes back to tight ropey shit. Yeah, I must be thinking of a different map, but, I mean, this is still insane, but... one on the one unit wide tightrope that's just an absolutely insane cut. Having already done a minute of very difficult jumping. Oh, wow. 
Is that a double jump off of the top? So you go up the ramp and then get a double jump after. That's mad. And so smooth as well. Yeah, I've always used the other ramp, but it, like it looks like... Like the other ramp is a lot uh, harsher of a ramp and it's not as tall so you don't go, you only just get over the top. And it tends to be quite an abrupt punch into the wall. Whereas yeah, if you can, if you can get the speed and come off of that ramp, then you're effectively keeping your speed because you're not hitting into the wall after the ramp. You just hit the ramp, no, no mash in the wall. That cut's insane. And that last cut's bullshit. Ooh, that's They're all slow world records at this point. Is that the slow world record on RDK or on the cool Ze uh, Zeal Lunatic? Yeah, they're all slow world records, don't worry too much about it. Thanks to Des, we potentially have much quicker world record recordings because I don't have to wait on getting sent the stats. Though we are likely to have, of course, overlapping, uh, a lot more overlapping records where this month will trickle into next month and next month will trickle into the month after. So if you got a world record in a month and it doesn't show up, don't worry. Yeah, the vid render and upload sucks because it can't be automated because YouTube won't give Morrow an API thing which is just shit because otherwise it could be perfectly automated to happen you know once a day and you'd never have to touch it Yeah, just simply, uh, simply host your own Peertube instance. Oh no, storage is definitely a major problem for vid streaming. Yes, bandwidth is also a problem, but uh, storage 
storage is probably a bigger problem, I think. Because for the vast majority of people, you're not getting that many views. In terms of creating a competitor to YouTube, for big creators, then yes, bandwidth is an issue. But for shit like this, it's just not an issue. Like, I never had a problem with bandwidth streaming live to, uh, like, 10 people for certain things for a little while when I was streaming off of my own platform, off of OwnTube. So... And that was live. But yeah, if you want something massive, then yeah, bandwidth is a major issue. That section must be slick bug heaven. Yeah, Jessica's uh, dual mortars are absolutely whack. Like, there's the way that everyone does them, and then there's Jasker. I also like watching when he fucks up like that on these longer runs, because it shows that I'm not the only one who just gets stuck in the sunk cost fallacy of... Uh, ...of trying to do the fast route. Because you did the fast route and fucked it up, so you've got to do the fast route now. But you can get your weapon stripped and kill the run in this. That sounds incredible. Sounds just like what I want at the end of a four minute run. Is that the overbounce climb that was being talked about a little while ago? Whether it's difficult on here. But it's an overbounce in Quake 3. Oh shit, you get your weapon, if you just get high enough to clip the weapon taking trigger and then drop back down. Jesus. Okay, I'm never playing this map, because I do that all the time. On much easier maps that are like two minutes long. Even when you're bad not maps that are probably 10 minutes for me. That's brutal, because surely th this has to be old, uh, old weapons then, for that run to actually work. So 
there's no way that new Hagar climbed like he did just at the end there. And that would have been a um, an overbounce in Quake 3, surely. This map's nutty. The way that you go through it. And then, you know, shortcut. Because why not? Yeah, there's a few. There's more skips than that. There was two done in that one, but there's three skips. But I think that it must be faster to do the normal. R fucking hell. I've seen people do one of those skips, but not both of them. Stra is just absolutely insane at uh, it's slick. Oh yeah, this is lag map, isn't it? And if you stand exactly under the checkpoints, it makes the checkpoint noise consistently. The little click noise, camera click noise. This is what I was talking about ages ago when we talked about Vert's tiny little flick circle jump. These maps. Where you have to do that tiny little flick circle jump because the entry box is, the start box is so small that you can't get a full 180 out. So just boom. I need to remember this route. So far, so same as my route. I'm pretty sure it'll be the same as my route for, yeah, for the first, first level. Yeah, that's, that's the same It's what happens here. Because I just get stuck on this bit. I think it's going to be a case of it looks too easy. On this one, at what point can you... Okay, very early. <laughs> very early. I know on the slick version, you can just go... Whoop, straight across. And then beautiful finish. Beautiful finish. Nicely done. Uh, that drop down, so cool. Just the fast catching your uh, catching yourself and letting the friction. Just getting the exact right spacing. Slick from straight. <sighs> Just monumental. Oh, this run's good. This run is good. Look 
at that. Lovely. Cool Woe by Woe. Nice adjustment there, just grazing the wall for it. Sub minute on CPM pillars, I've just realised. Tacking it in just under the right time. Must be cheating. No choice other than cheating. I don't understand why the rock props are always the thing that just doesn't exist. Just anywhere in Xenotic, you see a rock prop come from Quake 3, it will most likely be see-through. Or well, not see-through, but uh, non-solid. Run, You can run through it. I do not understand. Another packer map. <sighs> Jesus wept. I didn't try. Don't you think we could be different if we could just take it slow, let it go? Hey, there was you. <laughs> beat Vert to the end. But he beat you by 730 seconds. Oh, it's far too warm. So chat, question. If you were at the skate park wearing a Hawaiian shirt, how many buttons is too many buttons to have undone while riding a bike? In relation to being at the park and there being children there. What point can you get away with it?
adding in the fact that I have a six pack, so that does help my case. What the fuck? No way! Wow! I was like, oh, is, is he surf? Do you jump to here and then surf? And then I see what he's doing, and he's just holding that angle to crawl up. That's got to be. Oh, here you are. Here's one of your two wrecks this week, this month. That has got to be, that vert record, that has got to be the um, the closest you can get. The steepest angle you can do that climb up on, surely. I feel like any, any more aggressive you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to climb up on. Also, I've got to say, I don't know what's happened, but since Mario's been uploading less frequently, the qual the quantity of videos hasn't gone down because all the videos still get uploaded because uh, the server renders them, at, uh, I think, every day, and then Mario just has to do the uploading. But it used to be that the uh, export of records wouldn't line up with the upload order quite often. Recently, it has been lining up absolutely perfectly. It used to uh, bulk people by record setter sometimes. Oh, I like this map. Very good run there from Source. Interesting. That's very fast. Down ramp and double jump in the same jump. Madness. Chaos. Insanity. Sub 30 probably possible, indeed. Hasn't been done this month though. Shiro Rockets. It's been nice that Riffo's had a break from playing the game recently because uh, it means we don't have to watch his absolute panic rocket shooting. And we can instead watch Shiro's slightly less panicked, more more pre-prepared rockets instead of going, Oh shit, it's reloaded! <sighs> it's 
So I happened to note the start speed of the last record on this, uh, JH's run, which was 8.10. 8.44 on this one. And these start speeds are correct because they're these are server-sided demos, so they are the genuine server-recorded timestamps, not you got lag, therefore your start speed's an extra 20 because you were still going. Don't trust the start speed every time. If it feels good, go for it. If you ask Des what his start speed is, he'll tell you about 40 higher than uh, you're doing. Because he's getting about 10 seconds late. Yeah, it's kind of weird that it isn't, especially since the scoreboard start speed updates instantly. You don't have to finish the... You don't have to finish the run. And everything else, like the CPs, is server-side as well. If you're lagging, then they'll turn up a bit late. Whoosh! Sauce, if you're still here, did you shit yourself when you nearly hit that wall? Our speed, sp speed splits, speed splits would be sick. Because then you could be like, oh, especially on just long strafe maps, you could be like, okay, yeah, I'm point one ahead, but I'm twenty up slower, and it's only going to get worse from here. Or you could go, okay, I'm point one behind. I'm like 30, 40 ups faster. So I'll probably catch up. Madness. No, CPs are not for the fastest run, it's just that they display if you beat your own best time. But don't beat the best time overall. So if, you've, if you're faster than me to the first CP, but I'm faster than the fastest time ever to the first... No, it's still gold splits, unfortunately. Still gold splits, but you can now you get that plus 05. You know how before, if you would if you were fastest and I turned up to the CP and didn't beat you, but I beat myself, I would just not see anything. Now I see versus myself and versus you, rather than having to remember what your time was and then if you improve your time now my sp and I improve my time now my splits I have to do maths compared to your fucking time and hope that you haven't improved by point one and now I'm my maths are off, I can just go fuck it. My time. I think the login is for is turned off by default though. But I think you can get it to print it out every CP passed. But that's gonna be a lot on some maps. Gonna be a hell of a lot. I don't know if I've ever even finished that map, Party K statues. No, <laughs> I haven't. I've tried to finish that map. 
And I've not finished that map. Yeah. The worst part is the amount of time I've spent on it now. I refuse to not go for a fast finish and to just kind of... Because, you know, you can just faff around and do all sorts and stop and start and that sort of thing and get through it and get a finish. I refuse to not have a good, clean-ish run. I don't mind hitting stuff, but... You know, I refuse to not have a full run rather than treating it like a bloody parkour stage. Harder map than sub climb world stages. Not as hard as this complete shitter of a map, though. Don't fall too far, because you'll fall off the edge of the map. The finish is somewhere. <laughs> uh, here's the, uh, here's the 5 you beating run. I reckon you could get a better start on that one. Yeah. Tell me if I'm wrong. But... When do you pick up the... Ah, oh, no, never mind. I thought you had the teleporter thing before, and you could shoot it from the bottom of the stairs, but you can't. Damn developers thinking of things that we're going to do. How rude of them. I guarantee you Source just hits all of the down, all of the up ramps. So smooth. All the down ramps, you know, barely losing speed on the up ramps, hitting the down ramps somehow. Nearly gets two down ramps there. Mad. Des, do you still think that's slick? Was it Des? Someone last time said they still think that uh, slick is the fastest way to go. On that corner. Rather than what uh, Source just did. I patiently await your world record. Because I thought Slick was faster until I saw them dodge the first jump pad. Uh, not jump pad, uh, first ramp. As soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, nah, Slick's not going to be faster. Because you just can't get the angle on the, the Slick end ramp to keep enough speed. You might as well just send it. You probably have got a faster record on there than I do, though. But my record is with the slower bit through there, which I will 100% admit is the slowest way. I just haven't been able to put a run together with the skip, the jump. <sighs> 
that's insane. That end bonk, absolutely spot on. Just complete redirect, somehow redirecting speed rather than, you know, this map's insane. The balls it takes to set a record on this map and any of the bug W's. Just going for big cuts. Yeah. A few weeks ago I was like, oh, I'll just set a time on this map and then I'll go. Fucking 10 minutes later. <laughs> And it wasn't even one of the long ones, it was one of the ones that's like 30 seconds for your average finish. 30, 40 seconds. Although your average finish is a lot faster on these maps because you can't fuck it up. So your average finish is usually pretty reasonable. Because you've, you've got to get it clean. No checkpoints, no nothing. Ridiculous that not even holding W. Like, I understand not wanting to strafe down the last bit, but holding W, just get a bit more speed. And then, you know, get to the end and just tap D or whatever. Or S if you still use WASD. Plus back. This is a terrible map. <laughs> Right, yeah, I just don't like this map at all, but... <laughs> what is going on with some maps just skipping their end recently? Oh well. Been a couple of those. Yeah, sheer fear doesn't help. Next record is the last record we've got for this month. So enjoy this one while it lasts. And perfect time because I really need a wee. Vert is really trying to do some cuts, but you can tell he's like hesitating before he wants to go for big sweeping cuts. It's so difficult to remember what's after it on that map and figure out if you can go for a big cut. And splat. Big record at the end there. Alright, that's it then. Ignore the boobies. I told you they're boobs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Loads of records this month. Very thank you much for playing. Thank you to everybody who is part of these top 20s. I'm going to try and remember to get the top 20 pictures on the right day this time. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can crown some more champions. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, watch the guide video. If you've got this far into the video, I should have shielded the guide video at the start, bollocks. Oh well. Watch the guide video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. <laughs>